I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find a point on a trigonometric function which has the maximum instantaneous rate of change. So that is the whole idea. Now I have taken up an equation from your book Nelson and we will try to analyze this equation in a different way. The question here is the function d of t equals to 1.6 cos of pi divided by 0.8 t plus 2.2 .2, where d of t is the distance from the child to the motion detector in meters and t is the time in seconds models the motion of child on the swing. Use this equation to estimate when the child was moving fastest and away from the motion sensor. So that is your question. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now. To answer this question, I'll begin with sketching the graph of d of t itself. So it says uh, that vertically it has been moved 2.2 units up. So let me draw a line which is the axis, right? So let's say this is the axis which is 2.2 y value. Now the amplitude is 1.6. That means the function will go 1.6 above this, right? So let us say this is 1.6 for us above and minus 1.6 from 2.2. So if I add 1.6 here, I get 3.8. And if I subtract 1.6, I get 0.6, right? So 1, so 12, 0.6 I get, right? So that is... <coughs> Now the function should be, it's a cosine function, so it starts with the maximum, right? So the function could be kind of like this. So I'm just drawing one wave. Since there's no phase shift, that's a simple thing to do, right? So that is my function. Let's calculate the time period for this function. Now let me write d of t as equals to 1.6 cos of pi over 0 0.8 t plus 2.2 .2. so here k is equals to pi over 0 0.8 so t equals to 2 pi over pi over 0 0.8 right so pi pi cancels so we get 2 times 0 0.8 which is 1.6 so the time period is 1.6 for us right so that means if this, this is, let's say this is d of t, right? So 0.6 means we are very close, let us say this way. So it's not to the scale, but it's fairly, fairly accurate, right? So this is time in seconds and d of t is in meters. So what we have here is that one wave has a time period of 1.6. Now the question is, use this equation to estimate when the child was moving fastest and away from motion sensor. So as you can see from here, during this cycle, the child is moving towards the motion sensor, right? So this is, this is a part when the child is moving towards. Since the distance is decreasing, right, and that part is away so it is somewhere from here and half of 1.6 is 0 0.8 so it is somewhere after 0 0.8 and less than 1.6 now if you draw a tangent at different points so what you notice here is this is zero right now it becomes positive increasingly positive do you see that these are also positive values and zero so what you notice here is that the tangent line from zero becomes positive, more positive. It remains positive, but lesser positive than zero. So kind of here, right in the center, it is maximum, right? So always when the time period is t, well, this is also the point where it is going to be maximum. But here it is, child is moving or approaching the sensor. So we are not considering this. But anyway, if time period in this case is 1.6, this will be 1.6 over 4. This is 0 0.8, which is 1.6 over 2. That means 2 times this. 
this point will be at 3 times, let me write in a different ink, it will be 3 times 1.6 over 4, right? So it is the third quarter. So always it will be the third quarter. Well, the first quarter will give you a maximum, but the child is approaching, right? So the third quarter is the one. So if you calculate this point, 3 times 1.6 divided by 4, 1.6 divided by 4 is 0.4, so it's 0.4 times 3 is 1.2. And the time is, let me write first like this itself, 1.6 over 4, you can use calculator. Then we get 1.2 seconds. So that is the time when the instantaneous rate of change is going to be maximum, right? Now to find the value, we can use difference quotient, right? So we can use a point which is very close to this on the right and on the left side. So you can calculate the value which is D of 1.201 for example and also you can calculate the value 1.199, right? So we get two values, difference of these values divided by difference between these two will give you instantaneous rate of change. Perfect. So let's calculate what is the value of the function. It will be 1.6 cos of pi divided by 0 0.8 and t is 1.6. So which is 2, right? Plus 2.2. .2. So let's use the calculator and find this value. Now this value is 1.6 cos of pi so we we'll, we should do 1.6 times pi divided by 0.8 bracket close plus 2.2 2.2 is equals to 19.5 which is 3.8 right so so it gives us 3.8 So 3.8 is the value which is which is the maximum value actually. 1 point pi divided by oh we forgot to multiply by 1.201 that is why. Okay so let me redo this value right. So I forgot to write 1.201 here so so it was not 1.6 it was 1.201 which we had to place right so let me redo this so it is 1.6 cos of it should be in radians right uh, 1.201 pi divided by 0.8 bracket close equals to it is 6.283 into 10 to the power of minus that seems to be wrong so we'll do it again so it is 1.6 cos within brackets pi so 1.201 pi divided by 0.8 bracket close plus 2.2 .2 equals to 2.20628 so this value is 2.20628 okay now let us calculate the value for 1.99 so it is 1.6 cos one point one nine nine pi divided by point eight bracket close plus two point two equals two. So this value is equals to let me write direct here two point one nine three seven correct 
Now we will do difference of these two values, right? So which is, let me write instantaneous rate of change here. Instantaneous rate of change equals to difference of these values, 2.20628 minus 2.1937 divided by 1.201 minus 1.199, right? That is what we're looking for. Okay, so it is 2.20628 minus 2.1937 equals to divided by within brackets 1.201 minus 1.199 equals to 629 by 100 which is 6.29 6.29 so that is what we get instantaneous rate of change and the units will be meters per second meters per second in this case so that is how we can actually find the maximum instantaneous rate of change remember it will be in the third quarter of a cosine function right i hope that helps Thank you and all the best.